Hi everyone, my name is Katie Cleary and I am one of the program managers here at MAGIC and I'm so excited because we are here today with one of our lovely mentee mentor pairs from the summer 2024 session. Uh, we'll start off this interview um, by just saying congratulations on an amazing presentation. Um, you should be so proud of yourselves and um, thank you both for taking the time to sit down and interview with me. Um, if we could just start off by having each of you introduce yourselves very quickly. Uh, Caitlin, if you'd like to start us off. Hi, I'm Caitlin. Okay, great. And Caitlin, where do you go to school? And Sorry, I go to Fieldston um, High School in Bronx, New York. All right, and Lindsay? Hi, I'm Lindsay, um, Lindsay Boback. I live in Cleveland, Ohio, and um, I was Caitlin's mentor for this year, so yeah. <laughs> All right, wonderful. Well, again, thank you both so much. Uh, Caitlin, can you just tell us a little bit about your project and what made you select that as your topic? Yeah, so my project was to research and design my own air quality monitor specifically for um, a standardized approach in all five boroughs in New York City. Um, and I was really interested in this project because I'm interested in going into something sustainability related. Um, and I've had a little bit of an introduction on air quality um, before um, this session, but I wanted to dig deeper into it and really have a space where I could pursue that passion project. Wonderful. And during your presentation, you mentioned that your project took a bit of a pivot a few weeks in. Um, can you just share a little bit about that and maybe something you learned from the pivot? Yeah. So when I was going into the project, Lindsay and I had discussed that I was definitely interested in something air quality related. Um, and so I started, we were like, okay, I'm going to do some uh, kind of like baseline research the first week, just about air quality in New York, what it's like, um, how it's measured. And so we started looking into um, that. And then I realized that there was, I was like, wow, there's actually quite a variety in air quality monitors themselves um, across all five boroughs. So I texted Lindsay and then we met next week and we were like, okay, this is going to take a bit of a turn. And she was super, super great about it and was really flexible with just going with my turn of just honing in specifically with monitoring specifically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that um, that's a really important lesson for life about how you start off with one idea um, or maybe a couple ideas. And then through the work itself, you just go down a different path. But that's not necessarily a bad thing because you ended up um, having such an interesting uh, project in an area that perhaps you didn't even think of. Yeah, totally. Mm hmm. Uh, and Lindsay, can you just share with us um, what drew you to wanting to become a magic mentor uh, th as this is your first uh, session mentoring with us? Yeah, um, you know, I think it's really important to, especially in STEM fields, um, try to um, help other young women uh, be successful and um, keep with their passions and um, develop their careers. And I kind of wanted to try to be a part of that for somebody. And here's Caitlin coming along with something that I would be interested in. Like that is such a cool project, right? So like, that's so cool. Um, and so, I don't know, it was fun for me because I was learning science and I love science and I think it was fun to just do it together almost, you know, as she was learning, I was learning. So it was good. Yeah. And I, a lot of people tend to think of mentor mentee pairs relationships as the mentor teaching the mentee. You just mentioned the mentee uh, um, does also teach the mentor. So, can you share with us, um, you know, one or two things that you learned from Caitlin, whether it's the science part itself or something else that you learned from her? Yeah, I think um, in the beginning, she actually sent off. Um, some letters to like counsel people 
um, to try to see if maybe she was interested in going to the path of more like advocacy and um, I've never done that. And that was so cool. And she's such a good writer. And it was really cool to see like that whole process. Um, and she actually got contact back. So that was a lot of fun to like see that too. So um, I guess that was different. I've never done anything like that before. Um, I think that was probably a really exciting beginning thing. But then toward the end, um, I think just coming up with her own idea of the design, um, that was really cool. So, um, you know, I never researched air quality monitors before, and I don't even know what they measured until she, you know, wrote her paper about it. So, um, you know, you don't really know until you think about it. So it was nice to see and go through her paper and um, just see some science behind it you know, what the particulate matter was and how air quality monitors even work, how they're calibrated, um, you know, what the materials are made of, you know, all of it. So that was mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. So I'm, I'm glad to hear that both of you had just a wonderful session. Uh, Caitlin, um, can you, um, you know, think back to when you first heard of magic and, you know, you maybe weren't sure if you would apply or not. Um, now that you've gone through this experience, what is something that you would say to a potential magic applicant um, as to, you know, whether or not they should consider applying for the program? Yeah, I think that going into the project, um, maybe my only hesitation was just like being a little bit nervous about like trying something new, taking a risk um, in the STEM field. Um, of course, it was over the summer too. And I knew I would have to definitely like dig deep over the summer into working on this STEM project um, with people I've never met before, including Lindsay and you all. Um, and I would just say like after the experience, there's really nothing to be worried about because at the end of the day, the project is totally up to you and your mentor. So you're really just discovering something that you're really interested in. So just be super honest about if the project is something that you actually want to be doing, if you want to shift it a little bit, like I ended up doing. Um, I think, yeah, at the end of the day, it's really just meant to be something that's fun and interesting for you um, because it should be something that you're interested in, like what I did. Um, and I really just came out of the experience very grateful that I had the opportunity to dig deeper into the topic I was interested in. Great. Well, um, I'm so glad that you got so much out of the experience. Um, and as you said, uh, it was during the summer. So the fact that you were able to balance your other responsibilities um, and, you know, um, you know, take on this task of a project and really diving into a subject that you were interested in even further. Um, it really says a lot about you. And uh, I just, you know, um, hope that you continue to, uh, you know, work in STEM more and um, utilize your experience with magic as you go on. So um, both of you should just be so proud of this, um, not only presentation, but the project. And um, I can't thank you both enough. So thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. Yeah, this was a lot of fun.